Now this time we will solve right triangles using trigonometric ratios. In solving right triangles, it's a must to recall the concept of trigonometric ratios. Let us recall the so katoa. So sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Ka cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Toa is for tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent, while cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta are just the inverse function of sine, cosine, and tangent. It is also important that you know how to find the value of trigonometric ratio using the calculator. It can also be used in reverse, like finding an angle from a ratio. To do this, we use the arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent function keys. In this video, I'll be using the Casio FX 991ES+. Plus. So let's have our first set of examples. Directions. Find the value of the trigonometric ratio using the calculator, then round off your answers to three decimal places. Sign 44 degrees. You need to click sign, followed by the open parenthesis, followed by 4, then 4, then close parenthesis, then equal sign. With that, using our calculator, sine 44 degrees is equal to 0 0.695. Number 2, cosine 30 degrees. Click cos. Next, click the open parenthesis, followed by 3, then 0, then close parenthesis, then equal sign. With that, cosine 30 degrees is equal to 0 0.866 Number 3 Tangent 70 degrees Click tan for tangent Click the open parenthesis Then 7 Then 0 Then the close parenthesis And lastly the equal sign And with that our tangent 70 degrees is 2.747 Next is number 4, arc sine 12 over 13. Click shift, then sine, then open parenthesis, then 1, 2 for 12, the fractional sign in the calculator, then 1 and 3 for 13, then the right arrow, then close parenthesis, then equal sign. With that, arc sine 12 over 13 is equal to 67.380. Number 5, we have here arc tan 34 or arc tangent 34. Shift, tangent, tan for tangent, open parenthesis, 3, 4 for 34, then close parenthesis, then equal sign. For that, our arc tangent 34 is 88.315. Now let's solve for the sides and the angles of a right triangle. We need to remember that a right triangle is solved if the measure of its parts, like the three sides and the measures of the three angles, are known. To find a missing angle from a right angle triangle, we need to know the two sides of the triangle. We can, have, we can then choose the appropriate ratio of sine, cosine, or tangent, and then use the calculator to identify the angle from the decimal value of the ratio. So for example, letter B. Solve the given right triangle by finding what is as in each item. Number one. In this triangle, we need to find the measure of angle C only. So, so for the solution or to solve for angle C, 
We have been given the measures of the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So, if you have adjacent side and we have here the hypotenuse, we can then use the ratio of cosine. Remember, for cosine, since we're having here, our reference angle here is angle C, we change theta with angle C. Our ratio would be cosine C is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Then substitute the value of adjacent side, which is 6, and the hypotenuse, which is 14. So that would be cosine C equals 6 over 14. So from then, we have here C, which is our angle. C equals our cosine of 6 over 14. With that, using the calculator, we then type shift, cosine, open parenthesis, 6, the fractional sign, 1, then 4 for 14, right arrowhead, close parenthesis, then equal sign. With that, the value of our C or our angle C is equal to 64.623 degrees. Since we are asked to express our answer to three decimal places. Number two, in this figure, we are asked to find the measure of angle X only. So for the solution, we need to solve for angle X. Since we have been given the measures of the adjacent side and the opposite side, so we can use the ratio of tangent. Remember, the ratio for the tangent is tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Since our reference angle here is not theta, we change theta with X. So tangent X equals opposite over adjacent. Substitute adjacent side with 3 and opposite side with 8 since that is our given. So tangent x equals 8 over 3. With that, we have x equals arc tangent of 8 over 3. Using the calculator, we type or we press shift 10 for tangent, open parenthesis, 8 fractional signed 3 then right arrowhead close parenthesis then equal sign and with that our result for angle x is 69.444 degrees number three in this figure we are asked to find the measure of side k so for our solution solve for side k we have been given the measures of the hypotenuse and the reference angle, so we can use the sine or cosine. Since side K is the adjacent side of the reference angle, we can use the ratio of cosine. So, with that, our ratio would be cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Substitute angle theta with 30 degrees, hypotenuse with 7, adjacent with K. So that would be cosine 30 degrees equals K over 7. Next, multiply both sides with 7. With that, we can cancel out 7 on the right side. So we have here 7 times cosine 30 degrees equals K. Next, by symmetric property of equality, we have here K equals 7 times cosine 30 degrees. And using our calculator, we can then type cosine for cos for cosine, open parenthesis, 3, 0 for 30, close parenthesis, then equal sign. And then directly type or press the multiplication button, which is the x button and then 7 and then equal sign with that the value of our k is 6.062 centimeters since the unit being used here is centimeters number four in this figure we are asked to solve the given triangle that means we need to identify or determine the measures of all sides and all angles so let's start with solving for angle B, or let's solve for angle B. 
We have been given the measures of the opposite side in the hypotenuse. So we use the ratio of sine. Sine B, since our angle here is B, equals opposite over hypotenuse. We then substitute opposite with 20 and then hypotenuse with 29. Sine B is equal to 20 over 29. B is equal to arc sine of 20 over 29. Using the calculator, we can then get or type or press the button shift sin for sine, open parenthesis, 2, 0, fractional sign, 2, 9, at right arrowhead, close parenthesis, equal sign. With that, our angle B is 43.603 degrees. Now let's continue solving our right triangle in number 4. This time we will solve for angle A. Since angle B is 43.603 degrees and angle C is a 90 degrees angle, we can use the sum of all the angles of a triangle, which is 180 degrees. With that, we create our equation. Measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. Since our angle B and angle C are given, we substitute B with 43.603 degrees and angle C with 90 degrees. With that, we can combine 43.603 degrees and 90 degrees, and that would be 133.603 degrees. So, our equation will be measure of angle A plus 133.603 degrees equals 180 degrees. Next, Transpose 133.603 degrees on the other side of the equation, we can then have the measure of angle A, which is 46.397 degrees. Next, for the unknown side, which is side BC, we need to use Pythagorean theorem in finding the remaining side. For the square of side AB, equals the square of AC plus the square of side BC. Since we're looking for BC, we then transpose AC on the other side of the equation with that we have our new equation which is the square of segment BC or side BC equals the square of the hypotenuse AB minus the square of AC. Substituting the value of AB and AC for side AB and side AC, that would be 29 squared minus 20 squared. Simplifying this, 29 squared is 841, 20 squared is 400, 841 minus 400 is 441. In order to get the value of side BC, we then get the square root of both sides. The square root of square of segment BC is BC. The square root of 441 is 21 centimeters. With that, our segment BC is 21 centimeters. Therefore, the measure of angle A is 46.397 degrees. The measure of angle B is 43.603 degrees. The measure of angle C is 90 degrees. The measure of segment AC is 20 centimeters. The measure of side AB is 29 centimeters. And the measure of side BC is 21 centimeters. <laughs>